be immersed in the words of God. Why? Because, because when the devil wants to de uh, deceive us, uh, you know, it is so deceptive that we cannot differentiate between what is right and what is wrong. And you can find that, you know, in these last days, uh, the most dangerous thing is, uh, I call it deception. You know, deception is 99% truth, 1% false. That is deception. So it's very, very dangerous. So that's why, you know, when Jehovah Witness, uh, we know that it's uh, from the cow. You know that they, you know, they don't believe Jesus as, as God, you know. That's why they are called cults. You know? So that's why we have to be very careful. And then you don't debate with them. If, if they try to come to your house, uh, don't even open the door for them. Why? Because they don't debate on the right ground. They, they, I, I, know, I know how to witness with them. You know? They always twist and round, just twist around one. You know? Okay, let's look up. Uh, Colossians 1, 13 to 20. I read to you. He has delivered us from the power of darkness. Yeah, that's why I say the dominion of darkness. And convey us into the kingdom of the Son of His love. Verse 14. In whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sin. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by Him all things were created and are in, that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible.